Alright, so we're going to do a little swing technique. Um, we're going to start out with the two hand swing. We're going to use two bells, uh, just because I feel like this is the easiest position for most people to get. Um, now, before we get into the swing, we'll probably start out with just picking the bell up and moving your rear end back. Um, I'm going to put the bell, the handle of the bell, at heel level. Uh, I'm going to sit back, move my butt back, and then pick the weight up, and then set the weight down. So this is 45 pounds. It's obviously pretty light, but it helps me kind of get an appreciation for my butt going back, my back staying flat, and then pulling the weight through using my butt. All right, so once we're comfortable with the basic deadlift technique, just picking it up off the ground, then we can move into swinging the bell. So we're gonna start out with a two-handed swing. All right, and the way that we're gonna do that is um, just doing a few singles. So if I grab the weight here, swing back, and then come back. So with this drill, I like to start and stop with the bell in front. Um, and we may do like 10 or 12 singles, resting like five seconds or so in between. So it would look something like this. So swing back. All right, so once we're comfortable with that, starting and stopping, then we can start to string a few together. Um, and I actually like to bring another bell into the picture for that. So what we're gonna do we start with this uh, second bell up on top, and we're just swinging back and bringing the bell forward, but the bell below us reminds us to keep the weight close to our hips. So you can see at the top, I lean back just a little, and that lets me catch the weight about right there. Alright, so I like that second bell underneath. It reminds us not to let the weight get too far out. We see, what we see with that is when the weight gets out here, we catch it way too late, and it's a lot of grip work, it's a lot of neck work. So if we can lean back a little and catch the weight about here, we can ride the weight down with our hips. It takes a tremendous amount of weight off of the bell, but we can do a lot more repetitions that way. Okay, so moving forward, we're going to get into your single arm swing technique. Um, and now what I find with this is that um, the range of motion is obviously greater with the one arm. You can get back further. Uh, but people stop bringing the bell through, typically. Or uh, I also see a lot that uh, people tend to crush grip the handle. All right, so what we're going to do about that is we're going to bring the bell up to shoulder height every time. Uh, and then we're going to actually let go of the bell just a little bit at the top. So it reminds me to catch the weight with my hips, otherwise uh, I, the bell's going to take off or I'm just going to get like three reps and that's it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so for the swing, single arm swing, I'm going to angle the bell handle this way. So my thumb is going to be back, I'm going to use my lock and grip, uh, meaning I'm going to press the index onto the bell with the thumb. These guys are just along for the ride. So I swing back. Catch the bell, start bringing it up about shoulder height. So, for the loosening drill, I like to actually, right there, have people, and you can see mine's even smoother, just after doing a few. So when I have to momentarily let go of the bell, it reminds me that this is a hip drill and it's not a shoulder shrugging trap bicep curl drill. I want to take as much of that out of it as possible. I'm just using my arm and my hand to guide the bell, to guide the energy of my hips. So just that little bit of a let go at the top will remind me that I need to do that. So grab a little lighter bell when you're learning the swing and then do the loose grip single arm swing at the top. And what you'll find is that you transition a whole lot quicker into cleans and snatches and, and more advanced drills. That's your basic swing technique. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think.